Cody? Yes. Nathan? Yes. Did you guys know that there's a dinosaur in this hole? Well, what happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we got Did you know? In. Did you? Did you? No. All well, I see is a hole. There's a dinosaur in that hole. His name's Drippy. He wants water. Or actually, it's either Drippy or Dippy. I take it back, it's Dippy. His name's oh, totally Dippy. Oh, I remember that dinosaur. Mm hmm? Yep, he wants water, and we need to make it fall from the sky. And that's not what we're doing in this episode, because... 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 Big as fuck dinosaurs. Exactly. Misleading. I just wanted to go get that, um... That Cheeto page. Because when you help him get the water, you help him from a different world, and they just gift you the Jiggy right there. You don't have to come back to this world. So it's really inconvenient to get that Cheeto page, because they expect you to get the Cheeto page by coming back when it's filled with water, and you swim up to get it, but you can totally get it by just doing the backflip as Kazooie that you, uh, we got in uh, Grunt Grunty Industries. So that Cheeto page is kind of stupid. Also, if you're really, like, a really good aim, you can get it with a Clockwork Kazooie egg, but I spent 10 minutes shooting slow-moving Piranha slash Barracuda slash just fish things. Actually, there's a warp to it for where we're going, so I'm just gonna... Oh, that was almost really bad. So, we're going to be doing uh, a couple of the jiggies that we, we missed in other worlds. So, so, so welcome to the wonderful world of backtracking! How do you guys feel about backtracking in video games? Woo! Jiggy hunt. I don't think you did a proper introduction for the episode. I, no. Yeah, we did. I felt it felt was flat. It was flat. Oh. Oh well. Hi. Welcome to Banjo Tooie. We have Cody and Nathan. They are my friends. I hope they can be your friends too because they are neat guys. Is that 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 better, Nathan? You fucking asshole. It'll do. That'll do. It's okay. That'll do. LP. It's it's adequate for now. Uh, I I can give you like a two out of ten. That's the best I can do. So welcome to the bonfire cave. These fires are permanently burning till you shoot an ice egg into them. Per permanently burning them. Aside from that, you per per permanently burning. T t no, that's not much of a bonfire. It's totally a bonfire. Why else would they call it the bonfire caves, Nathan? It's bonfire. I need reasons. Bonfire caves, but only two bonfires. Well, yeah. You're lucky you got two. They could have just made one and been like, it's the bonfire cave, because there's one. That's good enough. But there's more, so, uh, there's, more there's, space there's, in there. Yeah, how, a space how do you guys, cave. Okay, since you guys love names that fit so well, uh, how do you feel about the stomping planes? Huh? Uh, what do you get to do in the stomping planes? Well, I'm glad you asked. What you get in the stomping planes is as soon as it happens you'll, you'll see you'll see you, come on fuck, hurry the fuck up you get your ship stomped hooray stomping planes hooray exactly thing so i still don't understand the significance of this name of of what of the stomping planes there's oh, more planes to stomp okay mm -hmm. i think i think i think it's like one of those indie art things uh, okay so the, the gimmick with the stomping planes is there are three switches on the either on, on the other side. There's one for Banjo, one for Kazooie, and one for Banjo and Kazooie. And the thing is, you have to get them all across to get all the possible prizes. But they all can't cross, um... Oh my god, you almost lost yeah. all your health there. Yeah. What this guy does is whenever he stomps on you, he takes you down to 1 HP. Unless you have 1 HP already, then he kills you. So to get Banjo across, you have to have his uh, snooze pack, or whatever the hell it's called, from uh, Gr Grunty Industries. And he's got to take a nap in between uh, running for the next hole. That way, you have at least two HP, so he stomps you, you go back to one, and then you're good. So it's like the compactor all over again. Yes, it's just like the trash compactor. Uh, same, same concept. Except it's going to be a little bit different now, because now we come up here and we can find Banjo's button. And here's Banjo's button. So now he's all good. Yay! Yay, Yay Banjo. So now it's... So... Bears. I always like to do this. Uh, wait to get Banjo snooze pack so you can do all three buttons at the same time. Because now we just got to run Kazooie across. Kazooie's thing, though, uh, can be a bit tricky if you're not careful. Because she doesn't have a healing move. She's just quick enough to get to the next thing. So if you're slow, you'll get your shit stomped. 
and then that kind of ruins your run if you get your shit stomped twice. So you gotta be careful with Kazooie. But they put these paths also, here, so, you know. Yeah. They kind of give you, like, the the optimum way to go. Also, um, you can get Banjo-Kazooie across by using um, Wonder Wing, which is the invincibility move that uses Golden Feathers. Uh, but I just like to do Banjo first, then bring Kazooie over, because then you can just combine them to push the button. The, the, hey, Jinjo! The, the, a Jinjo and a Jiggy. You get so many prizes for this. In fact, it's not just a Jinjo and a Jiggy. You, you, you guys want to know what's behind this this opening cave thing? Is it a dinosaur? We were just in dinosaur. It's another Jiggy! Two Jiggies and a Jinjo! Woohoo! Mo moving on up, am I right? To the east a side? Am well. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Their house got exploded. They're going to need an apartment in the sky. Ah, so insensitive, seriously. I said it was a deluxe apartment. And it's good. Not just a regular apartment. So, how do you guys feel about cavemen? Uh, unga bunga. Uh, not, not the unga bunga, unfortunately. We're going to be dealing with the ooga boogles. Those damn Oogle Boogles. So, the Oogle Boogles. Uh, y you guys know about, like, the theory of evolution and stuff, right? No. Like, Pretty you know, much. like, like... No. Uh... What like, is this? Like, 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 Darwin and shit. Like, you know... Like the, the monkey the... from the Wild Thornberries? Yes. You know, the, the good monkeys from Wild Thornberries get passed on to, uh your ancestors and you know that that good monkey from wild thornberries continues onward and you know makes new new stuff and all that mm -hmm. Holy crap. like you know that 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 version of okay it's captain yeah, caveman yeah, yeah it's it, it is it does look just like captain caveman minus <laughs> minus the cape man cape man uh so the th this tribe is freezing to death and starving to death because they're too afraid to go outside because of the unga bungas. So we have to set back evolution a couple pegs, and we need to bring them food for their lazy asses and warm them up, because they, they they can't even be bothered to invent fire, you like know, a, like a good cave. So the human race will be extinct because of what you're doing right now. Well, I mean, there's there's other. Uh, tribes of people well actually we we completely genocided the rock rock nuts tribe there are no longer any rock nuts um so now there's just the unga bungas to evolve on but we're gonna introduce the ooga boogles in the mix so we'll have people who are just fucking stupid unga bungas and we'll have the lazy ooga boogles i'm making a social commentary here is what i'm saying uh. yeah so we have to feed these cavemen right what, what, what do you what do you think cavemen want Let's let's think about food that cavemen like. Well, help me brainstorm here. Well, you're a bird with a, you're a bird and a bear. They could so probably eat you. Possibly, or have the bird shoot eggs, and they could eat the eggs. Dinosaurs. Junk food, you say? <laughs> Hamburgers and French fries, you say? Wild? Why, Nathan and Cody? You you guys were spot the fuck on. I have you have you guys played this game before? Only every day. Oh, good. Oh, also, I I didn't mention this when we were here the first time, but J Jiggy Watts. <laughs> Wordplay. Yeah, yeah. Are we at the carnival? Yeah, we're we're in a witchy world, which is like a carnival-y circus level thing going on. Yo. Does Grunty own everything? Uh, we, oh, the the world that Banjo, well, not the world, but the uh, island that they live on is the Isle of Hags. So, basically. The little area that they live in is Spiral Mountain, and they basically got dibs on that since they uh, kicked her out. And did he give us fries? I wasn't paying attention. Well, he is selling oh, he, fries. Oh, you have to talk to him twice to get it. I was just confused because I didn't see him throw fries at us. You have to, you talk to him and then he'll be like, hey, I'm open for business. And then you talk to him again and he'll give you fries. Is it because he's uh, a weasel? He... Wait, what's because he's a weasel? He's trying to weasel his way out of getting, getting you fries. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Shit. Uh, should should, uh, should uh, I teach shit. him a lesson? Should I teach that Set motherfucker a lesson? Fire. 
Oh, I was just gonna shoot a grenade at him. Okay, grenade, fire, blow up his friggin' fry stand now. Uh, okay, I, I shot a grenade egg. As long as you don't look at it, it's been completely demolished. We screwed him over, his family's upset. He's not upset because he is now dead, as long as you do not look at his thing. So, yeah, what about burgers? Take that potato stand. Yeah. yeah. So, so here's the much better burger stand with this, you know, hygienic looking rhino. Yeah. This, this looks safe. It's, it's rock Oh, I never noticed that, but, but look at, I, I never noticed it, but he has a little name tag with one star out of, out of uh, four. Oh, poor guy. Oh. He's not employed in He's... the month. He's grouped here. <laughs> well, actually, he's been, like, employee of the decade. He's the only employee who's been working at uh, Al's Burgers for, like, uh, since this game was released. And why the hell isn't he... Oh, I was like, why the hell isn't he talking to us again? I have to push the button and make him talk to us. <laughs> Imagine that. Sometimes I, sometimes I forget, because sometimes you can, like, walk in front of people in, like, video games, and then they, like, instantly talk to you. And then other times it's like, you know... You understand, man, right? Enjoy your disease-infested burger. <laughs> exactly. So, we have food for the cavemen, right? Well, they're gonna die now, because you, you're gonna give them a disease. But yes, we do. How about we also go and pick up little bear children? How does that sound to you? Sounds like we might get arrested. Let's do it. Well, you see, in Banjo-Kazooie 1, uh, there's, there's a guy named Boggy, and he is a polar bear. And you kind of pal you kind of pal it up with him on Freezy Z Peak. I remember. Well, he, uh, yeah, his wife's here with the kids, and all the kids ran off because they're fucking assholes. Uh, so you got to bring the kids back to her. It uh, sounds like kids in general, really. Yeah, kids are kind of just jerks. Uh, so you're gonna want to get food to convince them to come. The girl won't come to bring her fries. Uh, one of the kids, in fact, I think we already got one of the kids to come back to her. Um. Because one kid's just being an asshole, and he's like, I never want to go back to mom. I want to stay at the carnival forever. You get him to come to her by hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Parenting. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And uh, then the last kid, uh, I think I'm going to leave that for a secret. I mean, t tune in tune in next time, man, when, when, when we see that, right? Am Guys? Guys? Guys, you didn't actually ditch me because I said tune in next time, right? I thought it was over. Yeah, no, I, oh, I was gonna no, like oh. go get food and stuff. Oh, 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 no, that was that was uh, what we we call in my language a joke. Was was it not humorous? Well, I don't understand it since it's not in English, so. Oh, uh, let me translate it. Uh, yo tango el joko. There we go. Good. Gracias. So here's the last kid. He's far too large to go back to his mother. <laughs> also, he wants a burger. Oh my god, what a fat ass. He takes yep, after his dad. <laughs> he does take after his dad, actually. You... You... Wait, you hold don't on. know how spot on you are, I Cody. Think, I think I know. <laughs> you think you know. You, you are actually completely right. So, he did, at first he didn't want to go back because he was too hungry. You give him the burger and now he's like, Now I'm too full to go back to my mom. <laughs> Are so you gonna we... have to like roll him back? Well, I think Nathan, I know. that'd be that'd be far too simple. Roll him back. <sighs> Come on, he's not that large yet. You know, he's he he can at least stop eating birthday cake for a couple moments. <laughs> so, what we need to do is we need to carry him back. So we're gonna want to ditch Kazooie for this. I don't think Kazooie's gonna wanna be around for this ride. Luckily, oh, actually, Banjo might wanna nap before he goes through this endeavor. Luckily for us, we can fit infinite amount of space in our backpack. Holy crap. Hammer space backpack. I think even so, I think that bear would break, would break Banjo's back. Are you no. Merlin? Um, well, if you read my fanfiction of Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Kazooie goes and fucks Merlin. There's a bit with Morgan Le Fay and it's, it's really weird. So, uh, here's the mom. Let's Give her back her child. You know. So, uh, she's, she's gonna be like, don't run off, blah, blah, blah. And then she's gonna be like, were you eating again? And then she's gonna hit him. <laughs> Hold on, can I ask Man. something? Yes. Why does a polar bear have boob physics? 
Uh, <laughs> well, you see, they, they developed the jiggle physics for Banjo's nose, and I guess they were like, what else could we use j jiggle physics for? And then, like, they were all, like, just sitting around. Nobody wanted to say it, and eventually someone was like, fine, I'll, be I'll model the bear tits. Okay. <laughs> you pulled my card. Also, uh, we'll just warp back and get Kazooie. I always forget how can- Oh, did we not get the last child? I thought we already hit him. My bad. Let's go hit him. <laughs> Where? Where's the little asshole hiding? He's over here, isn't he? My bad. I thought we hit him ages ago. Banjo Tooie. So, a study in child so, abuse. Yeah, according to this, Banjo Tooie and Rare condone child abuse. Yes. No. No. I mean, Why they abuse they... my childhood with Killer Instinct. <laughs> the new one, or the new you... one? Okay. They abused my uh, childhood by not selling the Banjo Kazooie franchise to Nintendo, which would be a smart move on their part. Because come on, give it to Ray, uh, to Retro. Yeah, give it to oh, that'd be so good. It's never gonna happen, but it'd be so good. Also, hey, let's follow the kid to his mom. I bet if we get to his mom before he does, his mom will still be like, "Thanks for saving all my children." And in the background, you see him like still running. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we've all had enough excitement for today, and she's just gonna take off without him. I wonder if you can get it so where he's in the cutscene leaving while she is. Uh, the text might take too long. In fact, th the moment he went off our camera, he probably despawned. Also, look at that. Oh, hold on. I, I need one. to watch this for a second. Yeah. It, it, oh, it's a, God. It, it's I hate okay. To see you, you go. I love to watch you. It, <laughs> 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 if you need a moment, Cody, I I don't mind because I think I need a moment too. Uh, where do we need to go? Outside Mumbo Skull. That's where we we ditched Kazooie, because we're not going to be able to get back to the cavemen without Kazooie, because there's a little problem with taking the the cavemen their food. Are are you guys interested in our probleme? Uh, tran I went ahead and translated it for you, Nathan. Didn't you didn't you give the food to the little? Ready, bear children. Yeah. Well, uh, we still have some left. We didn't give them all because if we look at our totals, you can see. Or, oh, not our totals. My bad. It's uh, objects and items, I believe. Objects and items. You can see that we still have four burger and four French fry. Four burger and four French fry. That's what it says. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Didn't you see the the object and item total thing? If it was burgers. They put an S after the symbol. Wait, did they? No, they would. They, uh, if, if it was, they oh, okay. Would. Yeah, see, Cody knows what's up. Nathan, get get your head out of your bootay. Like I, I know we're all we're all distracted. Miss Miss Boggy's quite the looker. But come <laughs> come on, come on. I'm never so, gonna forget that for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. I'm glad you won't. So I suddenly want to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> Me too, actually. I'd be so down for playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, and I thought I could make that jump. That was followed by here. some Womb Raider <laughs> and some poke Poke Moms. I, don't know, I always thought Modern Warfare was a lot better than Cock Ops. <laughs> oh God. Wait, that that one's not fair because that that one's already called Black Cocks by even people who like it. <laughs> So, you're not allowed to take the food to the caveman the normal way. If you walk outside the level, Grunty will be like, Hey, I'm going to confiscate the food. Uh, and there's like a sign saying that like, um, like, you know, a, like a no food allowed past this point sign. So rather than not being allowed to take food into the carnival, you're not allowed to take it out and she will confiscate it from you. But if you go out this little uh, duct that we came out of, uh, if you take the like sticky shoes up here, you will not lose your food. So this is how you have to bring the food back to the Oogle Boogles. So this is why you can't do it until Grunty Industries. Man, Grunty's a bitch. Well, yeah, she's like trying to stop us. So she's like, how can I stop them from getting all the jiggies? I know I won't allow them to take the food out of the level and they'll comply. Maybe I should like just put a sign that says you're not allowed to take the jiggies out of the level. <laughs> Shit, if she did that, we would lose instantly. So, uh, just like how we had to light up all of their torches, you, we gotta go feed all of the cavemen as well. Otherwise, they'll just continue to starve. And they don't even have mouths. They, they, it's just nothing but beard. Well, yeah, you, you put the, the burger in the beard, and they absorb the nutrients. It's like <laughs> an advanced form of photosynthesis, except it requires food, so, to be honest, it's not as good as photosynthesis. It sounds more like osmosis. Mm -hmm. I know what stuff is. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was drinking. 
No, he 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 whipped out a horn. Okay. Man. He 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 might have like you know poured some some drink in there so he can get crunk. <laughs> Are these Irish cavemen? This one's wearing green. This one's Irish. This one looks a little bit like George. <laughs> if George decided not to shave, and became a little fatter, he's a and became man, a giant nose, and became a rare character. This may actually look nothing like George. I don't know if George became half man, half beard, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. George already has like a sweet little beard going on. This guy's at least three fourths beard. Oh, oh. Also, apparently they tried to eat the jiggy because they thought it was a chocolate coin thing. Of course they did. And like, that explains everything. They used to have mouths, but when they tried to eat the jiggy, it, not only did their teeth break, but their fucking mouths just broke as well. <laughs> their mouths broke, and then they're like, oh, my mouth's broken, and then it just sealed shut and disappeared. Exactly. Oh, shit. Also, uh, something neat that happens that I- there's only a few places in the game where you notice it where you're in a really dark room, but the jiggy creates its own source of light. So as you run around, that the, the jiggy's like spinning around you, you can see like the light source changing. It's kind of neat. Hmm. So how about how about we end this off with opening up the next world? How does that sound to you guys? Yay! Wait, does I, uh, this mean puzzle time? This means puzzle time. Yay, puzzles! I, and I know I know what you're thinking, Nathan. You you want Cory to do it, don't you? I want her to do it with the controller upside down. I don't I don't think I could do it with the controller upside down. Actually, you know what? I'll try it with the controller upside down. Would that make you happy, Nathan? It's adequate. <laughs> oh no, but we need 36 jiggies. I'm not sure if we have enough yet. This guy have a jiggy for a head? Yeah. This is this is the temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Uh, oh, they're a cult who worships Jiggies. By the way, I may have forgotten to mention that to you, Cody. So are they? So are they Jiggies as well? No, they just worship Jiggies. Stop asking questions. Okay. I'm Did they get cosmetic upside. surgery to make themselves look like Jiggies? Per perhaps. Um, okay, let's see. If I can... That's dedication. I'm telling you right now, Nathan. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this upside down. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried so much about how to move the controller that I don't think I'm gonna be able to think about where these fucking pieces go. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you think this is entertaining. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to die. I'll do it for you guys. I've been looking for an excuse for a while. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I might be able to do this. Like, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be cutting it close, but. I may be able to pull this off. See, this is okay. why I want I wanted Cory to do these, just because she never played the fucking game before. Yeah, but she's she's busy right now. She 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 has things in her life that are things that aren't Banjo Kazooie. She's oh fuck, I didn't even notice that piece never didn't go in. Fuck, I thought it was in, and I just looked to where I was gonna put it, and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> that piece didn't go in. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Shit. Think of a better challenge for me, Nathan, for how you conquered it. I I'm telling you right now, I probably couldn't do the do it the with last world. do it with the controller backwards. How do I turn? I'm I'm holding it upside down. How do I make the controller backwards? Just like have the face buttons like facing the ground, and yeah. you just hold, you just have the ass in, pointing up. Yes. Mm, gotcha. Um. I well, I was. I, I, already know, gonna... I already know what you should do for the next one. <laughs> do it with your feet. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it with my feet. Actually, maybe. <laughs> well, we can... This is The world we're unlocking right now is the second to last world. We haven't... I'm going to tell you guys right now, we have enough jiggies to unlock it. Should we go ahead and just unlock it right now so I can try it with my feet? Thank God I have socks on. This would be gross otherwise. I say yes. Okay. Go for it. I really wish so, you had a camera so that you could like have just film your feet. feet there's the actually uh, there's there's a good Super Mario 64 Let's Play where a guy played it with his feet and he has he has a foot cam. So you, you know that's a thing you can look forward to. And I can't believe I forgot that guy's name because I really like him. He's a he's a neat he's a neat guy. Jiggy Wiggy. Oh my god! I I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm not. 
Which button? Let's see. There we go, B. Yeah, this this is not gonna work out at all, Nathan. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So you the got... world we're we're unlocking right now is the last. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last world, and I don't. Oh my god. I, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this at all. Quit having such low confidence. Yeah, come on. You need to believe in the heart of the jiggy. <laughs> I need to improve my feet's dexterity, apparently. <laughs> I can't press the fucking A button on the stupid controller with my toe. Well, maybe. maybe you should take your socks off then. Maybe. No, but then I'll get foot all over my controller. <laughs> it's your foot! <laughs> Yeah, but I know where my foot's been. That's even worse. Well, it's not. It's not like it's some like hobo foot. Is that, you know this maybe, actually. This maybe is, I should do this. You know. Okay. Arkansas, no shoes. Come on. I mean. Oh shit! Yeah, you're a pro at this. I know. At just having no shoes in general. <laughs> you know. Uh. Uh. Fun fact: the the controller I'm playing this on isn't even mine. Whose is it? It's George's. <laughs> so when you I you should to just get feet all of <laughs> yeah, feet all so over Church's reason. controller. More reason no. to take the socks off. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to clean off this controller because uh, when he went to Otacon last year, we both brought our controllers so we could play video games on his uh, laptop, and he uh, we accidentally swapped controllers. And we we didn't know because they were the same damn controller app. Like they're both like the standard white wired Xbox 360 controller. But I noticed afterwards, because I noticed that his- God damn it! <laughs> I do... Like, I had respect for, um, <laughs> guy whose name I cannot remember at the moment for doing the Super Mario thing with his feet. But now I feel bad because I can't even fucking remember his name. <laughs> now, because now I understand how hard it is to move the control stick, of all things. You're only missing, like, five pieces. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll take my sock off. Get yes. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh. oh. The socks are off. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, you know, you know, he's trying for real. Because <laughs> the socks came off. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh god, why did I grab that piece? That's not an edge piece. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I just can't aim the goddamn stick. <laughs> Cause it's, it's like, I just want to tilt it- uh, No, don't drop the thing. Cause I just want to tilt it just a little bit and it either doesn't go enough or it just fucking flies down the damn thing. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want- If you want him to play more games with his feet. No! If you have a- I'm not doing this again. If you have a foot fetish, could... please subscribe. Oh god. <laughs> Hit like and share with your utter- With your utters. utters. yes. We'd like to see your feet too, come on. We'd like to see your utters. We're trying to appeal to the cow audience. <laughs> you can send in pictures of your artists to cardboard lawyer at cardboardlawyer.gmail.cardboardlawyer.gov. I hope I, that, I hope I got that right. That was basically my email. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it! I yeah, this this is this is horrible. If it makes you feel any better, I can't. I wouldn't be able to do it at all. I'm sorry, Nathan. Is that why you suggested it? You wanted to live the dream? <laughs> is this something you wanted to do? No, sorry. I just wanted to see if you would actually listen to me. Well, yeah, because it sounded fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it with my hands now because now it's like I've been challenged to do it, but this is fucking stupid. <laughs> It's too bad this is you're unlocking the last level. Otherwise, I'd say then. Otherwise, the next challenge to be doing it with your feet with the controller upside down. I'm not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> also, there, there, there may be more puzzles we need to do, even though this is the last level. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more shot with my feet, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up and be a loser. No Damn pressure. It. I just feel like I, like I controlled it. I had a bit, a little bit better control with the last puzzle for some reason, but now I've lost it. Oh, what are you saying, Cody? No, no, I'm rooting for you. Oh. You have the soul. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm using my toes. Maybe I should use something else on my foot. I figured the toes would be the best. God damn it. But obviously not. Oh no, the controller's, the controller's slipping away. You have 63 seconds. <laughs> 63 which seconds? Fuck. 
No, it's not where I want. I want it to go. I just want to go one space left. <laughs> oh. Thank God. In the the Banjo Kazooie version of this game, uh, they had like uh, you had to twist the the puzzles, so it would be like, oh, it's upside down. You have to make it upright. And fuck, you know what? I give up. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'll keep I'll keep trying, but it's, it's not, I'm not gonna make it. I don't think I can make it if I picked it up with my hands right now, which I'm not doing, <laughs> and went for it. I don't think I could beat it right now with this little amount of time. Exactly. Just because I've wasted so much time already. It's it's your own feet. Wait, what? They're your own feet. Mean? Why why are you afraid of them so much? <laughs> I, I'm a I'm a germaphobe. It, it, I eat. look. Oh, it's not like your apartment floor is just completely made out of feces. Oh. I haven't told you how cheap my apartment is, have I? Have I? Nathan, and it, yes, actually, Cody, we've it actually is. Been here. It actually is made out of feces. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use my hands. Cause... Now your hands look. are gonna smell like feet. Oh, look! He's saying, you're not the chosen one at all. You suck. Should I remove the timer? No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've never seen that before. Now I'm angry. <laughs> I am actually a little bit upset. Thank God we're ending the episode after this so I can go be angry somewhere. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pick up smoking. So I, I say that a lot. It's just like, fuck, just need, just need to smoke. I've never smoked before. So, so, so you know, you should have just told us you were still using your feet. Yeah. I, I, I can't. It's out of my alignment to lie. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, look, we did that with 60 seconds left. <laughs> See, Fuck. the problem, the problem was is Banjo was still using his hand while you were using your feet. It's counterproductive. I should have, I should have contacted Rare and asked them to give me a see-through Banjo foot model so I could update the game. And then, and then that would have totally worked. Someone needs to make there that been right now. Get all that shit. Banjo Kazooie would be impossible to play with your feet. Super Mario 64, possible, but fucking difficult. Cause, uh, Kazooie is just impossible. You use the Z button far too much for it to be possible. Unless you have like a uh, a really long tail that like curves like a hook. Or you could, <laughs> and uh... then you would use that to push the Z button. You so were if born you... with the world's most specific mutation for for doing this very specific challenge. So if you had talons, if you were actually Kazooie, you could do it. Probably. Fuck you, Kazooie. Why don't Why don't you do this for me? Oh, also, I never mentioned, but the reason Kazooie was a dragon in this episode was because somebody said they wanted Dragon Kazooie. So we're gonna be switching it every other episode. So next episode, she's gonna be a bird again. Yay, birds! Also, it's the the end of the episode. Why isn't Thanks. she a bird? <laughs> Thank you for coming, Cody. Thank you for coming, Nathan. You're welcome, Zach. It was Fuck such you, an Nathan. honor to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode.